That's right, Indie Form is back with another set of fire games to share. But just before we do, let's see how last month's Kickstarter projects fared in the funding game. The Fear Effect reboot, Fear Effect said, now along with the Wild 8 and Days of War, were all funded successfully. Our other two games were not so lucky. With full funding looking unlikely, both the survival game Lux and the 90s inspired Quest of Souls had their Kickstarters cancelled. The developers of Lux will look to investors for help, but if that doesn't work, they'll try Kickstarter again. Meanwhile, the studio behind Quest of Souls will work on overhauling the game's demo before returning to crowdfunding. Oh, hello there. Well, well, I suppose you've come to learn about population genetics. Let me show you. Let's look at this group of females, living peacefully, enjoying the warm rays of the sun. But wait. Niche is an intersection of population genetics and survival games. Your tribe needs to be able to survive whatever is thrown at them, whether it be environment, predators or disease. This is where genetics come in. By breeding your creatures together, you can grow the size and strength of your population. It also allows for mutations and the introduction of new traits into the gene pool. So if you're having trouble with a predator, you may want to add the gene for camouflage or heightened awareness into your population. Just like IRL, genes can be dominant or recessive, which determines their frequency in the population and adds an extra layer of strategy to the game. With its funding goal already doubled and two more weeks to hit some stretch goals, expect to see Niche next February. Very different. In ancient Mesopotamia, the great goddess Inanna hosts a competition for the land of Suma. Play as a noble competing. Suma is a competitive game for up to four players, in which you must sacrifice the most resources to gain the favour of the goddess Inanna. Much in the vein of 2015's Armello, Suma is heavily inspired by board game conventions. Much like the popular worker placement mechanic, you get two workers to place at different workshops. This gives you resources and denies your competitors access to the workshop. The second dynamic to Suma is the herding and the auctioning off of goats. These auctions provide you with new rooms and abilities, allowing you to gather resources quicker than normal. Suma will be coming to Steam early access around this July, and the funding will mostly go to setting up online multiplayer. In the Shadows is a cute looking puzzle platformer that's also a bit spooky. A fairly average shirt and tie wearing man dies into a childhood fantasy, so as to return to old memories and make sense of his life. In this alternate reality, dangerous monsters lurk in the shadows. To stay safe, the man can use light to not only stop the monsters, but turn them into useful objects like ladders, trampolines, doors and keys. We really like the mood in the Shadows creates. The music, homey settings and soft lights create a really nice dreamlike state. At the time of recording, In the Shadows has about a week to go and 3000 Canadian dollars left to raise. If it does, it will be coming to PC, Xbox One and PS4 this December. The wind comes from afar. It brings different scents. The bitterness of wilting grass. The smell of cooling soil. The salty dust of seawater. Insomnia's narrative-focused trailer begins to paint its world as a typically gritty and dystopic future. However, as it goes on, we see some unique settings. A bar with a neon sign, an underground cult and a Planet of the Apes-like beach shows us that Insomnia has its own intriguing character. The old school branching narrative will see you gain both friends and foes on your journey to uncovering the past. Mankind's existence has shrunk into this metropolis floating in space, but why? The combat will try to be as real as possible, calculating both damage and injury. On top of that, there are heaps of components, including survival, crafting, ability upgrades and randomly generated events. With less than two weeks to go, Insomnia's Kickstarter needs roughly £22,000 to get up.
start the Chronicles of Illyria is a ridiculously high budget project, asking for and already amassing $900,000. The 22 minute Kickstarter video goes into incredible depth regarding the ideas behind this epic MMORPG. A key takeaway for us was how your character will age and eventually die. Upon death, their soul can be transplanted into a new character. We also like how there are new events every day, keeping the story world truly alive. Currently, Chronicles of Illyria's release date is slated for December next year. That's it for this month, everyone. Thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former.